Alright guys, so I'm going to be doing uh, the final video that got deleted. I'm going to do hamster. I'm going to do it kind of quick because uh, i got about 15 minutes before the bell rings and I have to upload it and everything. So, what is the equation of a line that has a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of negative 3? Okay, remember, when you have an equation of this form, y equals mx plus b, right? Your m represents the slope, right? And your b represents the y-intercept. Okay? So we're looking for a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of negative 3. That means a 2 here and a negative 3 here. Alright? First thing, let's look at slope of 2. This one's slope of 2. This one has a slope of negative 3. Right? We can mark it out. This one has a slope of 2. This one, you actually have to, have to distribute that out. So this is what it's going to be when you distribute the 2. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, 2x. So all three have a slope of 2. Y-intercept of negative 3, negative 6, 3, and negative 3. Now your answer choice is thus going to be A. Let's look at number 2. Which linear equation goes through the points negative 2, negative 7, and 3, 8? So there's two ways of doing this. The easy way is to uh, just go to your calculator. Okay, go to your calculator, graph y equal x minus 1, then go to your table and see if both of these points lie on there, okay? Another way to do it is to figure out the equation of the line that runs through these two points, okay? So to do that, first you need to figure out the slope, okay? Remember the slope is, uh, we need to label this x1, y1, x2, y2, okay? Now m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Remember, you can find that on your formula chart, okay? Now, let's plug in. y2 is 8 minus negative 7 over 3 minus a negative 2, all right? Remember, minus a negative becomes a positive. This becomes 8 plus 7, which is 15. This becomes 3 plus 2, which is 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. What does that mean? That means the slope that goes through these two points is going to be 3. Okay? Now look, there's actually only one of these that has a slope of 3. So therefore our answer must be H. Alright? But let's check and see if that works. How could I figure that out? By using this equation. Because this is point slope. We have a slope of 3 and we have a point. We actually have two points, so we actually have more information than we need. So we can actually just go ahead and use this point right here, 3 8. Alright, and we can plug in. We use this. Only thing is, let's change. Now we're going to call this x1, y1. Okay? x1, y1. So let's plug in. We're going to do y minus 8. Alright? equals our m, which is 3, and then we're going to do x minus our x1, which will also be 3, okay? So now we've plugged in for our point slope form, all right? Now our next step is going to be to distribute this 3, okay, and eventually get it in y equal mx plus b form, okay? So to do this, distribute this 3 to both of these. So we're going to have y minus 8 equals 3x, minus 9, okay? Then our last step, bring this 8 over, add 8 to both sides. And we're going to have our final answer of 3x minus 1, which is h, and we already knew it was that answer because we found the slope to be 3, and this is the only equation with a slope of 3, all right? Let's move on to the next equation, number three. And we actually have uh, Dalvin Camacho has just arrived in the room to actually show us how to solve number three. Dalvin, you got to uh, show us how to solve this number three real quick? Uh, no? <laughs> what about y'all? Any of y'all want to try it real quick, yeah, number three? All right, so let's see. We might have a special guest appearance here. Let's see. Get the calculator. <laughs> Alright, so we're given a slope, we're given a slope of negative 2, right. and it tells us a point, 3, 2. Alright, so what we need to use is the equation point slope form, okay? So that's one way to do it. We all know if we look at our uh, tax chart, we know point, point slope form is this. 
All right. This is one way to do it. So before I do it the, this way, which is the best way, let me show you the easy uh, tax trick, right? First of all, we know the slope is a negative 2. How many of these have a slope of negative 2? A and Z. Well, yeah, only, only the D, right? D slope of negative 2, this is a slope of well, positive 2. So we automatically know, since it tells us the slope is negative 2, that our answer is D, okay? But let me plug in to this formula to show you that you will get answer choice D. Okay, remember this is our M, the slope we always call M. The point we always call X1, Y1. Alright, so now we're just going to plug in Y minus 2 equals M X minus 3, that's our X1. And it's what we just did, right? Just distribute this negative 2 and then you're going to bring this negative 2 over at the end. Distribute this negative 2, that's going to give me negative 2X, negative 2 times negative 3, positive 6. Then how do we bring this negative 2 over? What should we do? Yes, add 2 to both sides. Final answer, y equals negative 2x plus 8. So this confirms that our answer choice was indeed d. Alright, so now let's look at this one on the top of this number 1. Alright, so how do these two graphs compare? Well, what is the difference between these two graphs right here? Yeah, the only difference is this slope. You got a negative 2 and a positive 2. So the only thing that is different, remember, y equals mx plus b, the only thing that differ that's different is the m. And what is the m? m is the slope, right? So let's see what it talks about here. First one, the graph will be shifted down 4. No, the slope does not affect the graph. If it's shifted, that's a y-intercept. The graph's going up and down, right? If the slope changes, it's going to move like that. That's not a shift. That's more of like a rotation, right? So therefore, shift it down four units, no. Shift it up four units, no. Again, that's shifting. Let's look at here. The graph, negative 2x plus 3, will slope down instead of up, right? That's right, because remember, a negative slope is like this. It's like you're going Downward. down the hill, right? You're traveling down the hill. That's a negative slope. This is a positive slope. It's like you're traveling up the hill. You're walking up the hill, right? So therefore, this sounds good. We'll slope down instead of up, but cross the y-axis at the same point. Yeah? Because look, our b is our y-intercept. They both cross at c. Both cross at c. They both cross at 3. So therefore, c sounds good. Let's make sure d doesn't make sense, though. Negative 2x will slope down, yes, and be shifted down by 4 units. No, because it's not shifted, right? So, therefore, our answer is that's going to be C. Alright, so let's go through these last ones really quick. Hopefully, y'all can pretty much do this without my help at this point. This is just kind of review, right? Number 2, which equation represents the line shifted 3 units up from y equals negative 2x plus 1? Alright, so let me show you real quick. Let me graph this. Do a quick grab. So negative 2x plus 1, that's going to be your positive 1. And remember your y-intercept, the place it crosses, the y-axis. Negative 2x plus 1, I'm going to approximate up to oh. over 1. It's going to be something like this, okay? So if this line is shifted 3 units up, well, we're going to go 3 units up. 1, 2, 3 to here, right? It, says, it doesn't say anything about changing the slope. So this would be... This line, shifted three units up, would become that line, okay? Does the slope change? No. So it should have a negative two slope. Therefore, negative two, negative two, we can go ahead and mark out G and H, because in G and H, the slope has changed, right? The only difference is instead of it crossing at positive one, it's going to cross at positive one, two, three, four. So our correct answer is F. What's going on here when you have Y equal negative two X minus two? This would be shifted down three units. Exactly, right? It's going to be positive one, zero, negative one, negative two. That'd be shifted down. All right? Pretty simple. Let's do this one last problem. So which equation represents a line with slope twice the slope in graph of y equal negative three x plus five? All right? So what's it going to be, guys? What's going to be the correct answer to that one? If, it, if the slope is twice... Uh, a. Well, A, what changes in A? Oh, 
the y intercept, right? It goes from 5 oh, to 10. Oh, sloped. Exactly. So look, the so slope. Yeah. Exactly. It's going to be answer choice D, right? Because we got negative 3 twice the slope, we're going to double the slope, and our answer choice is therefore going to be D. Okay, everything else stays the same. Alright, so that does it for Worksheet Hamster. I hope you learned something.